So first we have to drag this screenshot in timeline and I'm going to zoom in to fill the gap. Now the next step is we have to go to the generators, scroll down and we have to drag this solid color on top of this track. Now we have to select this one and let's go to the generator, click here and we can change the color to this one. Let's click OK, go to the settings and scroll down in composite, we can change the composite to linear burn. Now guys, I'm going to turn off this track, I'm going to disable this track and now I'm going to enable my crop and now we can crop this on preview screen and now as you can see this slider also changing as well now we can enable this and now have a look we can zoom in and let's play this right here and we can also play this right here and from this side I'm going to place this right here now we can go to generators and we can also change the color if we want so i'm going to change my color to this one let's click ok now we have to animate this highlight so i'm going to select my generators go to the cropping and add a keyframe in right and let's place this let's turn this off click here and now we can preview where we don't have this highlight and now go to the two seconds of this clip and now we can highlight the clip like this now we can click here these are the keyframe of this crop we can click here and now we can select this keyframe we can smooth out the animation so now we have this animation now we can also select this clip and we can also fade in so the highlight will start like this now we can select these two we can right click we can create a new compound clip now go to the open fx click here and search for transform drag this on top of this compound clip go to the first frame go to the effects and now first of all i'm going to add a keyframe in zoom and add a keyframe in position x and position y and now from this position i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to change the position to place this in the center like this and now we can also go to the animation we can add a motion blur so let's increase the motion blur and now have a look so i hope you like this video thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one